Hello students, in our early episodes we discussed arithmetic progression and geometry progression in detail. Today we take up some more series which are not directly AP or GP but involving them indirectly. Before that I would like to introduce you this notation called sigma notation. For instance, if you have an expression like this, now this thing can be written as i is 1 to 4 x i. Also, you can write this as sigma x t t is 1 to 4. So, we can use any symbol here and the same symbol will be repeated here. So, this way we can write a large terms of series in a simple compact form. So, in this way if we write 1 square plus 2 square and so on up to n square is computed as i is 1 to n i square or k is 1 to n k square. Now, these symbols are called dummy symbols or dummy suffix. So, with helps of this we can tackle the problems of other kind. Suppose we have to find the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n. We can write this as sigma k, k is 1 to n. Clearly this is an AP only. So, first term is A, last term is n. So, the sum will be n by 2 first term plus last term that is n times n plus 1 by 2. Sometimes we can write without confusion that is sigma n only. So, sigma n also means k is 1 to n sigma k that is 1 plus 2 up to n. So, we have formula or first formula today sigma n is equal to n times n plus 1 by 2 that is sum of first n natural numbers. Now, if we want to have the sum of first n natural number squares, we can write this as sigma n square in short. Now, clearly this series is neither AP nor GP. So, direct formula cannot be applied here. So, we play a trick here. Let us write n cube minus n minus 1 cube. This is clearly 3 n square minus 3 n plus 1. Now, we give particular values to this. So, we get 1 cube minus 0 cube is equal to 3 times 1 square minus 3 times 1 plus 1. Next, for n is 2, this is 2 cube minus 1 cube equal to 3 times 2 square minus 3 times 2 plus 1. Then n is 3, 3 cube minus 2 cube is equal to 3 times 3 square minus 3 times 3 plus 1 and so on. Finally, we get n cube minus n minus 1 cube is equal to 3 times n square minus 3 times n plus 1. If we add all these terms, we find that this cancels with this term, this with this. Finally, we are left with only n cube minus 0 cube that equals 3 times 1 square plus 2 square 
and so on up to n square minus 3 times 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on up to n and then 1 plus 1 plus 1 and so on up to n terms. So, we have n cube is equal to 3 times sigma n square minus 3 times sigma n plus n. This gives sigma n square is equal to n cube plus 3 sigma n minus n upon 3. But we already know the value of sigma n namely we have n cube and the sigma n replaced by n times n plus 1 by 2 and this is minus n upon 3. This makes 6 down. We have 2 n cube plus 3 n square plus 3 n minus 2 n which comes to 2 n cube plus 3 n square plus n upon 6. Eventually, this comes to n times n plus 1 times 2 n plus 1 times upon 6. This is our sigma n square. So, now we have a formula for the sum of squares of first n natural numbers. Sigma n square is n times n plus 1 times 2 n plus 1 upon 6. Now, we can proceed for sum of cubes of n natural numbers. That is we want sigma n cube which is actually 1 cube plus 2 cube and so on up to n cube. Now, our procedure is similar to what we did for the previous case. In previous case, we start with n cube minus n minus 1 cube. Now, we take n raised to power 4 minus n minus 1 raised to power 4. This is 4 n cube minus 6 n square plus 4 n minus 1. As before, we give values from 1 to 3 and so on. So, we get 1 4 minus 0 power 4 is equal to 4 minus 6 4 times 1 cube 6 times 1 square plus 4 times 1 minus 1. Similarly, 2 raised to power 4 minus 1 raised to power 4 is equal to 4 times 2 cube minus 6 times 2 square plus 4 times 2 minus 1. Again, for n is 3, 3 power 4 minus 2 power 4 equals 4 times 3 cube minus 6 times 2 square plus 4 times 2 minus 1 and so on. 2 power 4 minus 1 power 4 equals 4 times 2 cube minus 6 times 2 square plus 4 times 2 minus 1. We have 3 power 4 minus 2 power 4 is equal to 4 times 3 cube minus 6 times 3 square plus 4 times 3 minus 1 and so on. So, eventually we have n power 4 minus n minus 1 power 4 equal to 4 times n cube minus 6 times n square plus 4 times n minus 1. When we add all of this, we get just n 4 minus 0 4 equal to 4 times 1 cube plus 2 cube and so on up to n cube, then minus 6 times 1 square plus 2 square and so on up to n square. 
then we have 4 times 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n and finally, minus times 1 plus 1 and so on n times. This equals 4 times sigma n cube minus 6 times sigma n square plus 4 times sigma n minus n. So, we have n 4 is 4 times sigma n cube minus 6 times sigma n square plus 4 times sigma n minus n. We already know the value of sigma n square and sigma n. So, we can find sigma n cube as 4 down n power 4 plus 6 sigma n square minus 4 sigma n plus n. Now, we put the value of this, we get n power 4 plus n times n plus 1 times 2 n plus 1 minus 2 times n times n plus 1 plus n whole upon 4. This becomes n 4 plus 2 n cube plus 3 n square plus n minus 2 n square minus 2 n plus n upon 4 which becomes n square times n plus 1 square by 4 that is equal to n times n plus 1 by 2 whole square. We have three formula now sigma n is n times n plus 1 by 2, sigma n square is n times n plus 1 times 2 n plus 1 upon 6 and sigma n cube is equal to n times n plus 1 by 2 whole square also equal to sigma n whole square. These three formulae are very useful for attacking any problems in volume series which is prescribed in your syllabus. In our next episode, we will take up problems where this can be used. Thank you.